By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to edit videos on YouTube like a pro in 2025, because there are five edits that you need to make sure that you're doing every single time that you edit a video, because if you ignore these things or forget to do them, it's going to destroy your views. And don't worry, you don't have to be a professional editor in order to be able to pull these things off, because I'm gonna share with you in this video a tool that leverages AI that basically does this stuff automatically. And this is the exact editing strategy that I've implemented on this channel right here that I was able to get monetized in less than 14 days and I spend less than 30 minutes a day actually working on this channel. Because if you're currently using CapCut, Adobe Premiere, OBS, or any other complex editing platform, you're probably doing way too much and spending way too much time on things that don't actually matter. Because today, YouTube wants to be pushing videos that are more authentic, which is exactly why I'd strongly suggest you use Gling AI to edit all of your content. So the first edit that you need to do in every single video that you upload on YouTube is you need to make sure that you are removing dead space. If you do not remove dead space from your content, what's going to end up happening is your video is going to be way too slow and people aren't going to be engaged. It might seem like I'm talking really fast in this video, but I'm not actually talking that quick. I just took out all of the dead space like I'm about to show you. But before I do that, I actually wanna show you the difference of this. So this right here is me talking with no dead spaces taken out. And right here, I'm gonna play the clip with all the dead spaces taken out. This is me talking with no dead spaces taken out. And right here, I'm gonna play the clip with all the dead spaces taken out. See how much more engaging that is? It happens way quicker, it increases the pace of the video, and it makes it way easier to actually watch. Now here's how you would actually do that with Gling AI. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here, you're going to click get started for free, and then you're gonna take whatever video you wanna upload. For example, this clip right here, I'm gonna throw it in here. I'm gonna confirm the language. I can add in other files if I want to. Otherwise, I'm gonna click continue right here. And now what this is going to do is load this up and you will see I'll be able to cut the silences, cut bad takes, remove fill words, add smart captions, put in jump cut zooms, remove audio noise, or even do speech enhancement. Or I could save all of that for later. So right now, all I wanna do is be able to cut out the silences. So I'm gonna click enhance and edit. This is gonna go through and use AI to actually do that for me. Okay, so now what we could do is we could come in here and you'll be able to see that you can show cuts or you can skip cuts. So. This cut out the beginning of the video and it also cut out the end of the video right here. Now what I also wanna do is be able to remove all of that dead space. So I'm gonna click on pace right here and this is going to allow me to set the pace of the video. So this removed two pauses, which is gonna be saving 2.66 seconds. Or I could increase this and I could have it save four seconds or I can slow it down. So if we keep all of the pauses, this is what the actual pacing of the video is gonna look like. And to prove this to you, I wanted to show you this. So look at this video right here. It got 1.1. As you can see, it's kind of slow. It didn't actually get rid of that cut in the beginning. But now if we come over here and click on change the pace right here and come into advanced, we can actually add in different things here. Like we could set the padding on the start or on the end, or we could just click apply right here and this is going to save us a bunch of time. So again, we're going to start this video from the beginning and watch this now. And to prove this to you, I wanted to show you this. So look at this video right here. It got one. Do you see how much quicker that is? How much more succinct that is? That's exactly what your ideal audience wants when they're watching your content. Editing trick number two is you need to make sure that you are adding jump cuts into your content. What a jump cut is going to do is it is going to increase the ability for you to be able to retain your audience. Because if you're uploading long form content and you're not getting at least 50% average view duration, or if you're uploading shorts content, you're not getting anywhere from 80 to 100% average view duration, it's probably because you don't have jump cuts within your content. And this is the easiest type of edit for you to be able to add in that basically re-engages your audience and stops them from getting bored when they're watching your content. And look at how easy it is to add that in with this tool. Now look at how easy it is to add in jump cuts to a video like this. All we have to do is come over here to enhance. We click on jump cuts right here and you could have this apply to different things. For right now, I'm gonna turn off B-roll and I'm gonna add in these zooms. I'm going to make them 200%. Now what this is gonna go ahead and do is add this into the content. And now you'll be able to see all of these different jump cuts right here. For example, we can click this to turn this on and we can also come in here again to increase the zoom and we'll be able to see how much it actually zooms here. So for example, this is gonna look a little crazy, but I just wanna do this just to show off how cool this tool actually is. So we're going to get through the first five seconds and then it's gonna be a jump cut here. Watch this. This AI video editing tool is blowing my mind and I'm surprised that more people aren't talking about it. 
I'm Rafa. Do you see what just happened there? It went from being really zoomed in to zoomed out. And what this does, again, is resets the viewer's attention. He didn't have to start a new clip. He didn't have to add in some fancy edit. He literally just had to come in here, click enhance, add in jump cuts. And by the way, you could add in those jump cuts where you would like also. And guess what this does? This is going to increase the odds that your audience is actually going to keep watching the content and that YouTube's going to push out your video because your audience retention is going to increase and it makes your video a hundred times more engaging. Now there are still three other editing tricks that you need to make sure that you're doing and they're only going to get more and more important. But before we get into them, I did want to remind you, you get started with Gling AI today for free at the pinned comment below. So the next editing trick that you need to make sure that you are implementing into your content is you need to make sure you are adding B-roll. I cannot emphasize this enough. You can't just add jump cuts. You can't just get rid of the dead space. You also need to be showing whatever you are saying within your content. If you do not show what you're saying in your content, you are not going to get views on YouTube. I want you to think for a second that I was walking you through this video, but I didn't actually show you how to do all these things or what these things actually looked like. Would that video be engaging if it was just me sitting here talking? No. It wouldn't. You would have swiped away. You would have went and actually found a different video. Your viewers are thinking the same thing. If you were talking about something that you could show on the screen, you need to make sure that you show it on the screen. In addition to that, in the intro of your video, if you are showing in your video, you should only show like 30 to 50% of the time. And then throughout the rest of the video, you could show a little bit more frequently, but ideally you need to make sure you are showing whatever you're talking about. I cannot emphasize this enough. This is one of the biggest hacks that you can implement today into your content and almost guaranteed increase your views. Now here's what it actually looks like to add in B-roll with Gling AI. Typically you would have to go through, you'd have to come up with B-roll ideas, you'd have to go get them and you'd have to add them into your content, but not with Gling. Just come over to Enhance, click on this right here, B-rolls, and then you can choose how frequently you have B-roll. For example, if you want it to be incredibly dominant, click dominant right here. If you don't want it to be dominant, you want it to be minimal, do this over here, or if you want it somewhere in the middle, you could do this right here. I want this for the sake of this video to be dominant right here. So I'm going to click apply right there and then watch what this actually does. It went and got B-roll related to what the video was actually about. This thing currently you'll be able to find to a virtual editing assistant. And I'm always searching for faster ways to get an edit done. And this look at how crazy that is. It knew that it was talking about editing and being able to edit fast. And then it actually shows you a clip of that. And again, you can come in here and adjust this if you think that this was too long, or you could click into this and you can do a search for different things. You could have AI come up with it. For example, if you wanted to do something like editing a specific video, you could put that in here. Then the AI will actually create that B-roll, or you could upload your own B-roll roll if you have some, or you could search through stock photos. For example, let's say that I wanted to put in here an elephant. What I would do is come over here. I would type in elephant, and then this is actually going to go and find me different photos of elephants. And this makes this a hundred times easier. Normally you would have to come out of your editor to be able to do all of that. But with Gling, you don't because you have access to all of it straight from within the editing tool. Editing trick number four is making sure that you have enhanced audio. Now I understand. You might not have hundreds of dollars in order to buy the best microphone possible, or maybe you have an outdated camera, or maybe you're filming on your iPhone. None of that matters when you enhance your audio because the last thing you want to happen is for somebody to be able to hear the air conditioning in the background, or maybe your room isn't acoustically set up correctly and they can hear the sound bouncing off of something you have on your desk or the floor if you don't have carpet where you're recording. Well, don't worry about any of that because all you have to do is click on that audio enhancement feature with Kling's AI and boom, it's going to fix your audio. Watch this. So if I play you the beginning of this video, I filmed this on my laptop so the sound isn't going to be that good. Watch this. Okay, so the first tool for today... Do you hear that? You hear how it's all staticky? It just doesn't sound that great. All I have to do is come into enhance right here, click on remove audio noises, and then also click on speech enhancement. And this is going to go through and this is going to fix the audio noise. And it's also going to enhance my speech. Look at how much bigger of a difference it makes after removing the audio noise and enhancing the speech. Okay, so the first tool for today is going to be nexusclips.com. Do you hear how much more clear that is? That is absolutely insane. It literally just took it from sounding like I was recording on my laptop to sounding like I recorded with a professional mic. And all I had to do was click on enhance. This right here, 
This one feature is literally going to save you hours and hours and hours of your time and hundreds of dollars because you don't have to buy some fancy mic. Now the last and most important editing trick actually comes down to the script of your video and what you're saying. You need to make sure that you are not repeating yourself over and over again. And if there is a part of your video that can be taken out and the rest of your video still makes sense, you need to make sure that you get rid of it. Cause you need to understand something. Everybody on YouTube, whether they're watching long form content or they're watching shorts content, they want to be able to save time. So if they feel like you are wasting their time, guess what's going to happen? They're going to swipe away from the video or they're gonna go find another video. If they feel like you keep repeating themselves and you aren't advancing the story that you're telling them or they're not learning anything new, guess what's going to happen? They're going to swipe away and they're going to find a new video, which is why you need to make sure that you are going through your script and getting rid of anything that is redundant. This can come down to just getting rid of some words. It could come down to getting rid of whole sentences or even whole paragraphs or whole clips in your content if you're able to remove them and the rest of the video still makes sense. I cannot emphasize this enough. You need to make sure that you're doing this. In fact, this is the biggest mistake that I see small channels on YouTube make. They just fill up their videos with a bunch of stuff nobody actually cares about. And then as a result, nobody watches the video or the average view duration is worse than your competitor's video. And then boom, you simply don't get the views that you want. Now, if you're still struggling to grow on YouTube right now, it's probably because one, you don't know what to post or two, you don't actually know how to improve your content. If you're struggling with either of those things, I personally want to help you. In fact, I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one to guarantee I can help you get more views, more subscribers, and ultimately be able to get monetized on YouTube the same way that I just monetized my second channel in just two weeks. If that sounds interesting, well, please check out this video right here that explains the three different ways we can work together so I can guarantee I help you grow quicker on YouTube. I'll see you over there.